Hello and welcome. I'm the Emperor Deus of Crusader Kings 3, and this is over on Twitch right now. We're live just this moment, and this is a VOD recording of it. So, we're playing the game, and I'm trying to teach you how to play it. I try to explain the things I do while I do them. This is part of the playlist, so if you're jumping in on this at some different point, check out the playlist as well. And now we're gonna get going. We are playing as, well, Ireland. We have started as Ireland, but we have since built the Empire of Alba, which is, at the moment, still not as powerful as I would like it to be. Our direct neighbor over here, Frankia, who is luckily our ally, is, well, twice as powerful as us. And uh, we are quite struggling with a whole bunch of wars and conflicts that we are trying to win. Uh, so, we'll have to see. But... At the moment, we're also quite old. Emperor Gregory the Brilliant, well-deserved name. He has a 48 learning and is only below 50 because he's infirm as well. Uh, this guy is all sorts of bad, but somehow he's making it to age 66. I'm, I'm really quite impressed. Um, so, we are looking at succession very soon. And succession is my most favorite topic. It has crystallized because we talk about it a lot and I think it's one of the most important things to understand about the game so we're gonna keep falling back to it continually and we're still on confederate petition we are working on unlocking partition which we won't have in time but before we die so we are gonna lose the following titles we're gonna lose the petty kingdom of Wessex which is a duchy title and if we zoom in a little bit more you can see what's being highlighted here which we will lose to one of our sons and we're going to lose a few counties, which is uh, the thing that hurts most, honestly. And uh, we're going to keep our core duchy and the, uh, well, these two counties here, which I'm not actually quite sure which these are. The Barony of Gore? What the heck is the Barony of Gore? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's our, that's here. That's our castle. And uh, we're going to keep the county of Middlesex. So we only gonna keep this, basically. Only this bit. Everything else is gonna go away. Which is a shame, but uh, that is Confederate Petition. Does Brittany have allies? Well, no, they do not. But they are pretty strong in themselves, and this is here why I haven't really gone for Brittany is um, they are de jure part of the Frankish Empire. So I'm pretty sure they are going to be a bit of a problem for us. So, uh, yeah, not really going there. Your neighborhood used to be very heavily Irish, which is nice because we're playing Irish. Irish population still thinks it is. It's not. It's extremely a Dominican neighborhood now. This crime is down, but previous majority claims otherwise. I'm neither. About equal measure English, Scots, Pen, Dutch, and Finnish. And I can tell you these old bigots can kick rocks, yes. They are absolutely worse. Old bigots are usually the worst in everything. Uh, we are swaying the Pope because we keep milking the Catholic Church, which we will absolutely do in this very instance. Uh, thank you very much for your donation, my dear Pope. Uh, we will absolutely use this money wisely. Um... The crusade called by... Huh? Okay. I wasn't even aware there was a crusade on them. That is odd. That is quite odd. Honestly, we could win this with our French allies. The problem with our French allies is we have zero prestige to call anyone into an offensive war. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, we, we have to we have to rely on our own strength, which, as I said, isn't all that great. We got a nice commander promoted from our uh, Marshal, which is lovely. Always make sure that while you don't have an army running, you put him to train commanders or increase control or manage the royal guards, whichever you would like to prefer. Personally, I like this because commanders are crucial to any war. Absolutely any war. Uh, let's see. Who was that? Everyone who doesn't have a title is forced to be a knight. And make sure that your knights actually get some... Get some spouses going so they can create you some new... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, some new courtiers that you can use. 
Uh, yes, the, the Revenge of Attacks Against the Swedes we've done in the last stream. I haven't uploaded that one to YouTube yet. Uh, so we'll talk you through it for a moment, catch you up a little bit. But first, let's create an accolade or so, because uh, we might as well. And accolades, I still don't like them. They fix it a little bit, but it's still a pain to deal with. So let's see what options do we have here. We can have Disciplinarian, Levy Reinforcement Rate plus 10% right off the bat. It's pretty good. And a Valiant, Army Damage Modifier plus 10%. These are really good. We could have Travel Safety or Mercenary Higher Cost, none of which I like or need. So we're going to go with what he can be here, Disciplinarian and Valiant. And he will be the Head Knight of the Cornish Retainers. And, well, actually he won't be because we actually can't afford to create an accolade because we are just so very not prestigious. So, uh, our little revenge war against uh, Sweden, it was actually a bit of Denmark, uh, has successfully finished by us taking over all the lands. Uh, by the time we took over, our uh, ex-wife, as it were, had already returned. She is now dead, sadly. Uh, but our wife was taken from us in a raid, taken as a concubine, and um, yeah, well, she, she was brought back to us. Uh, but she only lived with one of our sons, and we had m remarried since then. Oh, look at that. We have tax jurisdiction. We should absolutely look at that in a second. And uh, what we did, we, we went and killed most of the family. Like, every direct relative of the dude who initially took our wife uh, as a slave and then as a concubine... Uh, we took out. So there's only some distant relatives left of that, and I'm I'm good with that. Uh, we can actually see. Let's check. I think most of what we have killed are them. Yeah, all of these are. Sadly, he was dead already at that point, so we couldn't kill him personally. But we took out uh, his brother and his children and his grandchildren. So no direct line left of uh, this. All the people we killed were part of the family that took our wife as a slave and then as a concubine. Which you can't just go around doing. That's uh, that's just... No, you don't do that. Okay, tax jurisdictions. Uh, we need that because we keep a little bit down here in Spain. And the uh, culture down here makes these into clan leaders rather than feudal or tribal. So, to get anything out of them in terms of tax and levy, we have to set up these tax jurisdictions. Um, and we're going to put in Tolstik, who has a good aptitude for it. So, that will increase ourselves a little bit. And you can see it's 2 out of 12 because it's these two counts that are now part of it. We lost a bunch of stuff down here. I'm not quite sure how. It's uh, It was some sort of uh, succession that happened there. But yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. See how we survive at the age of 66 with absolutely no prestige, but we are extremely pious. Like I, I'm thinking about reforming uh, the faith, but I'm a little bit scared of going away because uh, I like the money, but I also don't want to be stuck in continual endless crusades again. So. I'm not quite sure yet. We might not ever really get the chance anytime soon anymore with this much piety. That's pretty uh, pretty big. But I also don't think that our lifestyle choices allow us to get that easily. Yeah. We don't have profit yet. So I think once we get to profit, uh, we might we might go ahead and and, and check it out. 50% reduction in uh, creating your own faith. That is important if you ever want to diverge your faith away. Uh, speaking of faith, we are insular Christians. So we're not even Catholic. And we are... We are standing fairly strong. But we have rituals, so we are... Basically Catholic. More or less. And you can see here our, our marshal is taking good, good care of our commanders. Improving them, increasing their prowess, so they make better knights. And um, another thing that we've been doing, and we always keep doing, is increase our development. And we're pretty good on that. We are on 20. We left the counter with 20, so at least we're caught back up to where we left. 
and the highest are double of what we got uh, over here in Rome and in Constantinople. But generally, we're doing pretty well with that. Ooh, King Constantine is coming. And he's bringing money and renown. Uh, he fails a little bit with his speech. So something you'll notice uh, when I play this game is I don't read all the text all the time. I concentrate on what are the results here. And I pick whatever results are most suitable to me. And in this case, we're just going to take this one because I know this is the option that I like. Uh, because it gives some court grandeur and it doesn't reduce the opinion of them. Like, we could, we could mock him and be like, ha ha, you're a fool. But this is the only difference between these two. We could lower his opinion of us or we don't. So, doesn't, doesn't really matter. And we got the Dynasty leg Legacy. Very good. So, clearly we're going through blood because, again, this one, this series is mainly to teach people. And um, going in the Blood Dynasty uh, renown thing is absolutely the best option, I think, as a baseline. Like, if you have no idea what to pick, go for Blood. <laughs> it's, it's the best thing you can uh, reasonably do. And uh, we are going to finish it up with Octogenarians, so life expectancy goes up by plus five years, which is nice. So uh, we might see ourselves actually reach 70, despite of all our little ailments here, which is, <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy. I've, I talked uh, to, to my partner today about Crusader Kings 3, and something that I pointed out is... One of the great appeals about these kind of games, and Crusader Kings 3 in particular to me, is that it doesn't really matter how often you play it, and even if you play two different people starting as the same character at the same time, your story, the thing that you're going to experience in this game, is going to be different for everyone every single time. Um, yes, let's finish here. Let's give our little daughter to the King of Bohemia. Um, and that is because the context always matters. Like... Things around your character are going to influence everything. You have some control over how your character develops and what they do. But that is only some control. Oh, we can hold court. Let's do so. Here, petitioners. And let's gesture for the first in line to approach. Okay. Um, every time you see a child and a woman kneeling before you, you generally know, okay, they want someone to take care of this child. Um... If you take care of the child yourself, that gives you the greatest court grandeur bonus, for example, which is pretty good for us, honestly, because we are constantly below where we need to be. So we're going to take this child as a ward. But be careful with picking that option because you can only have so many wards as a person. So I think three is the limit or two even. So if you want to educate your own children over a random kid like that, just let someone else in your court take care of this poor orphan child. And I'm noticing right now here is the skull cup that we got. Someone gifted this to us. It's just a cup made of a skull, which I think is very gnarly. <laughs> Everyone is dice rolling at all times. That's why a good processor is very important. It's also why there are no way to make a works every time guide or anything. Best thing to learn is to be ready to be um, surprised. <laughs> good evening, Edgar Hilario. Uh, we are Insula Christian, and I will bring up the interface after we're done with court. I know you want to see that, so uh, no problem. And yes, Fujimori is absolutely right. Make sure you have a decent CPU. It's pretty important. There's a lot of calculating going on all the time. Um, but... Crusader Kings 3 does not have the typical paradox problem of slowing down in the late game, which I love. I'm so happy about that. I hate it so much about Stellaris. Love that game, but I can't play it. Uh, after some, it's just... Okay, so let's take this child as our ward. Um, and we'll, we'll make our... Make a best effort to turn him into a proper soldier for, for the realm. Until we die, anyway. So, um, create new Christian faith, equity fundamentals. <laughs> um, we're, we don't have profit yet. If we get profit, we might do that, and I'll take that under advisement. 
Um, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Someone in the Empire is trying to harm my acquaintance. I have no evidence. Listen, malice is not a crime in self. Go away. I've quite enough of Duke Ulf and his ridiculous customs. I mean, have you seen how those savages eat? Our nobility must be Irish. So, we could push for some Ireland here, but I think Alba is a land of many peoples. Uh, that's where we're going to go. Secret 3 knows to stop generating new characters and when to lessen dinosaurs on some of the background uh, characters I've noticed. That makes a massive difference. Might just do. Plus, people don't just grow and never diminish anymore. There's constantly people dying and being born. So while there is a maximum possible extent, uh, the amount of people needing to be calculated it, it kind of stabilizes at some point as well. So let's check out uh, what Edgar Hilario wants us to do there. We're not going to do it again because we don't have the profit trait yet. Um, but if we were to go ahead and diverge our um, Christian faith, uh, they want us to do create a new Christianity faith with equity fundamentals. So uh, what does that even mean, right? If you want to create a new faith, uh, you get over here and uh, you can basically kind of build your own faith as you would like to. And you can click into these and decide what are your tenets and your doctrines and all that kind of stuff. So you want us to do armed pilgrimage and equity fundamentals. So let's check out what equity fundamentals means. Uh, though I think equity might be down here and not actually there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, equity fundamentals is not here. But armed pilgrimages should be... Um, armed pilgrimages should be here, but of course it starts with A, so it should be up there. So armed pilgrimages is, um, it costs 20% less power to declare holy wars, which is pretty decent. And a head of faith, if one exists, can create great holy wars. And if there's no head of faith, then adherents gain a bonus to the convert faith. So if, if you... If you don't have that, you get that, basically. Characters of this faith gain an additional bonus upon the successful completion of a pilgrimage. And accolade glory gain plus 10%. That's okay, but I don't really care so much about it. Um, equity fundamentals. Equity. That's definitely not something here. Or am I just not seeing it again? No, I don't think. Uh, equity means basically, I mean, in my understanding, there's several points where that could be. You could go for a clerical gender either. That is kind of equitable. View on gender. Uh, yeah, so the view on gender is... No, that's just for clerical. So main doctrines, view on gender, equal. Uh, that's what they want us to do. And uh, personally, I like that. I, I generally go for equal. Because you incur less penalties having women do things. And you're losing out on a huge pool of potential great people in your realm if you exclude your women folk from doing anything proper and sensible. Religion attendant fundamentals. Edgar Ilaria, I, I need to ask. Why are you so into the religious bit of Crusader Kings 3? Not I mind. Not that I don't... That, not that I mind, but I'm curious. So this one I didn't even read. I just picked the option that didn't give us any stress. You don't have to play like that, but you can. You're gonna you're gonna still become emperor. Trust me. Uh, it's um, it's not mandatory to read absolutely everything and every single time. All right, we have some children lacking some guardians. Let's just throw those out there. It doesn't really matter. We don't have a wet nurse. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> uh yeah. We're aging, and we're feeling the results of it. Yeah, no. We're not min-maxing on this channel. We're not min-maxing min in my playthroughs ever. We go with the flow. I mean, the, the most min-maxy thing we have been doing is going in this exact direction with our dynasty focus, which I usually do not do. Um, so that's the most min-maxy we'll ever hear. Oh, we are hereditary rule three years away. Let me check something here. 
So we cannot uh, go ahead and pass limited crown authority. I think we need to do something that gives us some prestige. So let's go on a hunt. Um, and we're going to go just hunt, not falconry or anything. And we're going to go over here to Newbury. And it's completely safe for us. So we're not going to take anything at all. We're just going to go get going. And we want to slay the beast for some extra potential glory. And... Um, yeah, we'll leave everything on the default. Ah, okay. We cannot go hunt because we are infirm. Alright. Oh, thank you so much, Fusion Warrior, for the gift subs. That's amazing. I finally fixed the thing. We we get the we get the alert and everything. Thank you so much. That's amazing. Uh, immediate perks me up after this punishing blow that we can't uh, that we can't go on a hunt. So what else can we do to generate uh, some some prestige? Honestly, I wonder what can we do. Uh, None of this will give us any prestige, I think. Could commission an artifact, but that's not going to give us prestige much. Though, let's check our our equipment, honestly. I think we might want to go for a better set of armor. So, oh, this has changed. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 that is new. You get an info on what you already have and what you don't have. You still don't get any info on what exactly you're currently wearing, which would be nice, but that's cool. Yeah, let's hire a local artisan for that. And we want, I don't know, dependable scale armor, good protection, less flexible, sturdy and reliable. I trust your judgment, my man. You'll know what to do. Okay, is there any activity we can do now? A festival? Well, that would cost us prestige, so that's not really helpful. Um, can we have a feast or a university visit? In Canterbury? Oh, look! We can go to university, even if you're infirm. But I'm definitely not going to do that because that is crazy at our age. Like, we don't we don't want to increase anything here. Oh, by the way, we, you breached the sub goal. I, I just now realized. That's crazy. Let me go for once on stream deal with the goal right away. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Manage goals. Sub goal. That... Okay, that is an updating. Thank you, Twitch. <laughs> uh, but that's it, definitely. Let's let's go and start a new one. For where are we at? Twenty nine. I think thirty two would be would be something to do then. There we go. New sub goal started. And we are working our way. Through the event chain that leads to our new armor now. Let's see. And here we're looking at what gives us the highest quality. I know what you need. There's a high chance that nothing happens, but a high chance that something bad happens. There's a chance he dies on this one. Okay, let's give him an energy drink to help him with some inspiration and see what happens. Because I find that idea so fucking funny right now. That we're just creating him some sort of weird potion. To help him work better. Gained one progress. And thus Red Bull was evented. Uh, what do we have here? Another little event. 
Oh yeah, okay. Sometimes you have a weird guy come up. I'm giving my armor freaking cocaine. You, you rest short. <laughs> That's definitely what we're doing here. Uh, so guards force this man to see the physician. Macarena only has space next week. Can you hold on? Uh, no, we're gonna force him to go see a physician. And that worked out, so we get some lifestyle experience. Our niece was in prison somewhere. All this internal warring all the time. Okay, so Brittany is a little bit weaker now than they ha used to be. So a holy war might incur some Astaru uh, joining in on it. But I don't really see anyone close by. And we have the troops finally to deal with them ourselves and they don't have no allies. So we'll just go for it, honestly. That Frankie hasn't taken it is, is a little bit beyond me. But... Cost us only a little bit of piety, which is fine. And... Let's do it. And we're gonna put our marshal on organizing our army to reduce the cost that we incur while our army is up. We're raising our army on the coastline because we're gonna ship them off to Brittany in a moment. We'll look at the faith in our land in a second. And we're gonna land there. Why not? There. We got insular. Most places. And a little bit of Catholic still mixed in here. Down here we're fully insular. Okay, on to war now. Costs us a little bit to cross the channel. Embarking your army is basically per thousand that costs you 10 gold. Oh no, Fusion Warrior. What did you spot that I didn't see? Tubo Mila. Okay. Okay. We could turn this lady into our friend by dedicating this armor to her. A Swede joins, they will hack up your exclave. Yeah, it they might, but joining is actually a bit of a thing of distance. So Sweden right now is in the civil war. They're not going to do nothing. Denmark might, but um, you actually get an information on whether or not someone is going to join when you declare. Like, it's kind of new, but... If I were to... I can show you later uh, in Sweden. I, it would show you there. But if someone is seriously considering joining, uh, you're gonna see it immediately. So these are just a little bit too far away from anyone. There's probably not anyone gonna come help. So we are uh, working on our heir and grandson. He just got vengeful. Which we probably don't want. Uh, we don't want him to be chased, though that's uh, virtuous to insular Christians. But it's very kind of bad. <laughs> um, let's see. Maybe we can make him stubborn instead. Disease resistance. A little bit of a small health boost. Plus, he is being uh, a stewardship education person. Little lad. So, I think we're going to push him into stubborn. Instead of anything of these others. Because, well, his liege opinion would go down. Doesn't really matter much. Uh, courtly vassal opinion goes down. That actually does matter some. But the plus three in stewardship is, is pretty big. And the disease resistance, I think, is pretty good. So um, we'd rather have our boy be stubborn, uh, shy and trusting. Which is a very interesting combination, I'd, I'd say. Um, where did where did his troops go? Okay. We can save this boy here and he becomes our friend. Doesn't really matter much. But we'll take the learning lifestyle experience. Um... But we're going to go with a step back. This is my patient. 
because we're gonna get more out of it. And he still joins the court, but he doesn't become our friend. So I don't need him as a friend. I'd rather take the extra learning inspiration here. And we save the life today. Where are his troops? Okay, he made an armor that's not much better than what we got. Great. Magnificent, thank you. Uh, let's check it out anyway. Uh, armor. So we got the Russian scale armor equipped. Plus one, plus zero, zero, nine. Uh, so the Russian scale armor is better because it gives us more prestige, basically. The prowess plus three is fine, but I don't see myself fighting directly personally, so we're just going to destroy this one immediately. And we lost 60 gold on this whole endeavor. Okay, I think we know where his armies are. They are fighting off something from the south. They're in the fog of war, but we can't see them right now. So I'm fairly confident no one's going to join this war on his side. And if I'm wrong... Wouldn't be the first war we're losing here. And it's also part of the game. I think you should be absolutely prepared to sometimes make some concessions. Um, I might gain learning lifestyle experience. Absolutely, let's go. This is a play thing event chain where we are going to make a Christian plane play in London. Let's click out of that siege for all the noise. I could write a better play than this, so we start a learning challenge against this guy who has zero learning compared to our 48. Absolutely, we're going to take that challenge. Thank you very much. Um, and let's see. This here is a diplomacy challenge. We don't have a lot. We have four. And it would be against that dude, and I don't remember what his uh, diplomacy is, so... We're gonna go with uh, Gilbert here. I think he's he's the best option there. With 13 diplomacy. Alright, we taken this. Let us continue south. Can I go directly for it now? Yes, very good. So, since we have a border... Ah, very good. A dramatic debut it worked out perfectly fine. So we get our learning lifestyle experience point. So we are now a prophet. So we can look at reforming our Christian faith in a moment again. Um, but talking about this, right now we can just march on his capital because we took something where we hold a direct uh, border to between the counties. If we didn't, we would possibly incur some attritional losses in our troops just by moving around. Faction was created against us. That's crazy. Uh, let's check out our religion. Create a new Christian faith. And um, let's start with the faith icon. Last time we were the servants of the lambs. I'm feeling the doves here. Um, but I want it to be a little bit more warlike. So... Let's say Harbingers of God. <laughs> uh, Harbingers. Harbinger. Am I writing this correctly? Chat. Yeah, I am writing this correctly, I think. And Harbingers. Okay. Adjective should be Harbies. I'll take it. Harbies. <laughs> I'm gonna be so confused when I see Harbies written out in one of those texts. I'm gonna be so confused. I'm not gonna know what the heck this is about at all. Uh, Alright, so let's see. We don't need monasticism. Monasticism is pretty good. Honestly, you can't uh, help in your succession, but I never really force anyone to become a monk, so monasticism doesn't matter to me. Uh, religion attended fundamentals. You wanted armed pilgrimages. Religion attended fundamentals. Uh -huh. 
Thank you so much for the follow. GRW42, welcome. So nice to have you. If you stick around, you might just catch a gift sub by Fusion Warrior. <laughs> they are. Uh, she's constantly throwing those out. Um, let's see. Okay. Ed, Edgar Ilari, you get one pick. You, you get to decide one of these. Either a tenant or one of the doctrines. You get one pick. Make a good pick. <laughs> um, everything else we're going to decide broader. If I don't know exactly something, then we're going to go for a poll in chat. Because we can do those. And that's really fun, I think. So, let's see. Uh, we don't want right. We don't want to keep the old head of faith. I'm done with that. Christian faith with the ecumenism. Keep it on creation. Ecumenism. Uh, let's see. How, uh, how much is that? Good evening, Zerghim. Thank you for joining. <laughs> and making good use of those... <laughs> of those emotes. <laughs> I really like the bouncing one. I don't know. It makes me happy. Um, ecumenism. That is not... Well, that's not actually something here. Is that something here? Religious attitude? No. Head of faith? Spiritual? Let's see. So, ritualistic cannibalism. You might mega you like megalith, but haven't gotten one built yet. Alright, okay. So, we're gonna kick out rights. Let's go for that. So, megalith, is that here? Yeah, megalithic constructions. There was a construction of megalith in temple holdings and great megaliths in Dutch capitals. Advantage in hills plus 5. Development growth in hills terrain plus 15%. Okay. Alright. Um, I don't think hills really helps us much. Let's check. Do we have a lot of hills around here? I don't think so. Like, Britain is pretty flat. I don't think megaliths will help us much. While I don't min max... I do like things to make a little bit of a sense, you know, so... Um, we can't create the faith anyway right now because we're at war, but we can we can think about it a little bit. Edgar Ilari, you need to make a choice there. What do you want? Um, ritualized... Cannibalism is what you want, huh? I'm not sure if we're even allowed to. Oh, we are. Makes cannibal a virtue. <laughs> so, being a cannibal gives you prowess, stress, loss, and natural dread plus 20. This is a crime to us, Insula. <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, we're just gonna eat the Pope. Right? We're not gonna have the Pope anymore, we're just gonna go eat it. That sounds great. Vows of poverty. Ah. Uh, I don't like that at all. We're getting rid of Wiles of Poverty for sure. We could get Asceticism, but I don't like that. Let's see. Adaptive. County conversion doesn't matter. I don't care. Uh, rulers of this faith must spend piety to reforge or repair artifacts. Rulers of this faith can destroy artifacts for piety. Honestly, that's pretty cool. I never had that. Anikonism. All right. Asceticism, no. Astrology, no. Carnal exaltation, maybe. Communal identity could be pretty good if we wanted everyone to be Irish, but we don't really care. Communal possessions. Adherents gain piety from sending gifts and giving away artifacts. That's cute. It's a little bit communistic. Makes peasant leader a virtue. Alright, okay. Uh, communion. Uh, no. Doesn't really matter. We don't- we don't want indulgences. Uh. Endurer. Decide to end their life when old, incapable, or near death. Doing so does not incur any of the normal penalties from self-induced death. Short rain duration. Minus 50%. That's actually pretty good. Shonic redoubts. Convert speed in- Ah, okay. Makes giant a virtue. Alright. 
Attrition in mountains is also not bad. Eastern syncretism doesn't matter to us. It's too far away. Uh, makes wise men of virtue. Children with a learning education focus may gain wise men trait. Okay. Exaltation of pain. So we could just have a sadistic ritual cannibalistic. We're basically building Kink Island if we go with this, I think. Sanctioned false conversions. Conversion resistance plus 30%. Gnosticism. I mean, that's pretty, pretty centrist, you know. Stewardship minus two for everyone and plus two learning though. Okay. Uh, Islamic or Jewish syncretism, legalism. Reduce law costs, increase law costs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This helps make elective a little bit better of a succession type. Electors under elective succession types are more likely to vote for the choice of their liege if their liege is just. If their liege is just. Okay. Literalism. May debate other lords of the realm at the cost of opinion to gain or lose piety. Okay, so we're just constantly kind of arguing about the meaning of, of the faith. What do megalith temples actually do? Do you know GRW42? Like, if you build one in the duchy capital, what, what do they do? Mendicant preachers. Eh, it's not bad. Pacifism. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pursuit of power. Rulers have a conquest causes belly against neighboring rulers. Oh, that's actually pretty pretty strong. That's also why it's so expensive. Um makes ambitious and disloyal virtues interesting and content and loyal is title creation costs minus fifty percent, tyranny gain minus fifty percent. Okay. Not really, I just thought it was a good role-playing thing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, we do have Stonehenge on the island, so it would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? And there's also... But but we have fought off... Uh, we have fought off the Nordic Astaru invaders so often, so I, th I feel like I would be spitting in, in the faces of our people. Holding feast earns piety? Nah. Sacred childbirth? We had that last time. Sacred lies? Deceitful of virtue? <laughs> Sanctity of nature? Nah. Syncretic folk traditions? Okay. Oh, that's unreformed. I thought it was maybe f something more for the populace. Member of the clergy can serve as commanders or knights. All insularist. Plus four prowess. Faith hostility advantage plus two. That's kind of crazy. Okay, we looked through a bunch. Um, vows of Poverty and Pursuit of Power Fields and Cover. Yeah, we're, we're replacing Vows of Poverty. 100%. Vows of Poverty goes away. Uh, everyone in chat, throw out some of your ideas for what we should pick from all the things that we just went through. I'm just going to unpause the game and, and have a little eye on our little war going on here uh, while we do that. Mm. No, sorry, I need the prestige. Can't praise the Pope right now. <laughs> Pursuit of power and armed pilgrimages come make for a good conquest. True, true. I mean, I'm th I'm not discounting monolithic yet entirely, but or megalithic constructions. But again, the hills thing. I mean, only because we don't have many hills doesn't really matter to us. It's just holding taxes and that kind of stuff. That is more relevant for us uh, here. Or does this go for all insularists? I'm not sure. 
Oh, we seized a tapestry, which is very good. Plus 0 0.12 renown per month. Oh, yeah, hell yes. That's very great. Take care of that in a moment. I still don't know exactly where his army is. It must be down here. I think he's fighting south. Which is funny to us because... Well, enjoy. I'm going to take Nantis, which has two things that we need to take. Let's put up that uh, banner that we just found, huh? Just lay down on the ground here. Queen Arganthiel's Tapestry. Nice. Very good. Nope. Wrong place. Oh, oh, oh. Still not enough piety for this. So we're gonna kick out ritualistic cannibalism, pursuit of power, and armed pilgrimage. If you can't beat him, eat him. <laughs> I like that. But you already suggested the ritual cannibalism, so. But I do like pursuit of power personally. Then again, ambitious and disloyal. I don't like disloyal. I don't want I don't want my people to be disloyal. No 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 no. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Okay. We're gonna go with armed pilgrimages because we heard that twice now. Armed pilgrimages. And we're gonna go with monolithic structures. Megalithic structures. We're just gonna go with that. Again, we can't create it right now. But I think it makes sense. Especially ritual cannibalism and these two together. It kinda kinda fits, you know? So we're gonna go for that. Uh costs us 1437. So we still have some room. Uh we need a color. I think the color would be red. <laughs> it's very warlike. I would get maybe a Poor, poor. Nah, definitely red. Like so. Uh, let's see. Male dominated? No, this will be equal. Religious? Pluralist? Righteous? Adherents of other faiths will have opinion of parents. Um. Okay, now we're gonna go with pluralist. Lay clergy, secular rulers directly control their own temple holdings and get all associated benefits. Yeah, I think so. Head of faith. Spiritual. We can't go for temporal yet. Faith cannot have both a spiritual revocable clerical appointment and temporal head of faith. Okay, this is this is difficult for me to understand even. Um, fundamentals plus twenty. What? I can't follow you, Edgar. You're like you're sorry. Um, okay, a faith cannot have both spiritual, revocable clerical appointment and temporal head of faith. No? Okay, there's something else that we have to fix still. Spiritual revocable. It's probably down here. Clerical appointment, spiritual for life. So we would have to have spiritual revocable. Nope. It needs to be temporal. Rulers appoint their own realm priests. So now we can have a temporal. The position of head of faith is given to the founder of the faith and is passed on to their primary heir when they die. So that's us, that's our heir. I actually don't think I had a, um, a temporal ruler yet. So maybe if we survive long enough to do this, it would be kind of fun.
I hope so. I hope we don't spend a lot of time on this and then we die before we get to. You delay clergy, then temporal revocable to be the head of faith and not kill my bishop. You want temporal revocable? Can we afford that? Oh, yeah, we can. Sure. Closest we can get to theocratic. It's true. It's true. So monogamous, we're just going to keep that. Though polygamous is kind of fun as well. Uh, divorce must be approved. I mean, bastard deed. No bastards. They don't exist. Legitimization. I think you like that. Unrestricted marriage. Now we're going to stay with our vunculate. Um, we could go and only allow between cousins. But I think all that is fine. Same sex relations. We're good with that. Religion attended fundamentals. Brother, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Set down here somewhere? I don't know. Male adultery shunned, female adultery also shunned. Let's get some equality in here. And uh, let's have witchcraft be accepted. Not virtuous, but definitely accepted. Kinslaying dynastic remains a crime. Clerical apts be equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, steward. We need a new steward. And we're going to put in this lad because he's actually really good. And he likes us. Defender of the faith, diplomacy per level of devotion plus one. So our diplomacy should go up into a acceptable amount now. <laughs> I hope I can win this war quickly because I'm really quite afraid of dying before we can create our harbingers of God here. Uh, you wanted clerical... Nope. Uh, there. Either is fine. Clerical marriage is allowed, for sure. Clerical gender, either. We got that. Okay. Recruitment. Domain taxes, minus 5%. Control. All insular clergy, control growth, plus 20%. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? With what we do here. We are not here for arms and pacification. We are here for control. Recruitment. Could also work. But we don't have the thing that they can also be fighters. So I think we go for control. Deviancy. Let's go with shunned. Not criminal. We will not be able to imprison anyone for anything. <laughs> Just except for dynastic slaying. That's, that's all. Um... Always allowed, disallowed, must must be approved. It's fine. Pilgrimage attitude. Mandatory. Nah, we'll leave it at encouraged. You can't arrest them, but you can eat them. It's, uh, it's very true. That is absolutely correct. I keep forgetting about our new powers here. Do we have a siege lad? Do we do our sun and night. Let's put him in here and hope they don't suddenly come out of the mist to fight us. Oh, our culture has discovered bonus, which is not exactly what we're working on, but it's fine. 20 months until we can get hereditary rule on there. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys, girls, and NBs. <laughs> soon, 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 soon. Okay, so now that's not the enemy. That's just the enemy of our enemy. Oh god, we're we're running into the supply issues. Come on, finish up. Why is Oh right. Darn. Okay, this is a little bit bad right now. The Emperor shall hydrate. I shall indeed. I like how water looks on green screen. It's kind of funny. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, 
Hydration has been achieved. Thank you so much for the reminder. So we're at 93%. The problem that we're facing right now is that they're going to take our stuff here. And if we fight them, while we are completely losing our minds on hunger, uh, they're definitely going to win. Plus they have more troops anyway. So we have to go back and stop the hemorrhaging here. Can we resupply here? Yes, we can. We don't have to split up. Let's put in a better commander again. Let's see. He deserves to know his power. Ah. Avoid what? <laughs> uh, okay, our, our player heir and son becomes a witch. Which, you know, soon will be very good. He deserves to know his true power, for sure. Steward? Um, wait. Okay, well, we're just gonna put in this guy who has been building our armor. So the problem that we're facing right now is that uh, this dude here is taking what we took, which will lower our war school. And we can't actually fight him over it. So that's all pretty bad for us right now. It's all pretty bad. I'm very happy to see a, a use in, in the in the channel points. Makes me happy. By the way, everyone, happy new year who's just joined and looking around here. Oh no 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 no. Keep the siege up. Let's put in our sun again. To speed up the siege. So, as you saw, we just lost a huge bit of uh, war score there. Uh, okay. You're always there for me. I've, I've not interacted with you for a second, but sure, I'm, I'm always here for you, boy. At least they're now attacking something we don't already hold. So that's a little bit nice. Let's speed this up. Let's speed it real up and then regret it again. Like I always do. <laughs> We're being raided somewhere. I don't care so much unless it's our capital. Okay. So we just need to take one more thing and then we're done. Five months. Let's go full speed ahead. We're dying again. Which isn't great. But as long as he doesn't take anything right now. The problem is though, we might inherit this war here. No, we don't. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Now we can stand down our army. But more importantly... Let's slow down the game. More importantly, we can create our own Christian... Faith, the harbingers of God. Let's look through this uh, for a second again and be sure that we are happy with what we picked. So we're going to go with megalithic constructions. We're going to go with armored, armed pilgrimages, which is very good. Uh, Head of Faith can declare great holy war, which will be us. Haha. <laughs> uh, ritual cannibalism, which, you know, if you can't beat him, eat him, as uh, Fusion Warrior would, would say. Uh, our view on gender is equal, not female dominated. Our religious attitude is pluralist. Religion attended fundamentals. Listen, you have been typing this a bunch. I don't understand what it means. Please, please rephrase it. I have no idea what you want. No clue. Um, clergy tradition, lay clergy. Head of faith is temporal, so that's us. Um... Encouraged pilgrimage is fine. Marriage, monogamous. Honestly, we have the money. Should we get concubines in here? Good evening, Captain Bira. Welcome back. So nice you could make it. They wish to change pluralist to fundy. Religion attended fundamentals. Get conked. Uh, okay. No. I don't think we would... Oh, yes, happy doing year to you too, Captain Bear. I don't think we would be fundamentalist. I don't, I don't think that makes sense. 
Counties of other factions are more likely to join factions. Increased dangers from heresy when at low fervor can revoke landed titles from hostile and evil infidels without incurring tyranny. I don't... I don't see that. No, no, no. We're pluralist. Okay. Uh, everything else just shunned. No criminal acts anymore except for kinslaying. That's still bad. Big bad. Uh, we can't afford virtues on this one. Or can we? Ooh, we can make witchcraft, witchcraft virtuous. Ooh. Do I have a chance finally with this religion to create a witch coven? It's a spicy choice, but I think it would make me sad. Like the the positives are just not outweighing the potential negatives here. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not I'm not going for that. But we're witchcraft virtues, hello. For sure. For absolutely sure. Temporal revocable control. It's all good, isn't it? Unless we could make these accepted. <laughs> Adultery is accepted. Look at us. And now let's throw in polygamous. Or let's go with concubines. I like concubines a little bit better than polygamous, honestly. Then again, polygamous all children are legitimate. So you don't get that child of a of a of a concubine thing. Let's go with polygamous. I mean, we are a weird, weird people out here on the island. Uh, the harbingers of God. We are just... We go hard. <laughs> so it's still a new Christian faith. Will Christian... What will Christianity think of us? I wonder. <sighs> Create... Faith. Wait. Sins, lustful, sadistic, and vengeful. How is... How is chase still a virtue to us? What is giving us chaste as a virtue? I'm confused. Or are these our current ones? Oh, no, 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 no. What? What if the pagans bent Christianity they will instead of the other way around? <laughs> that is true. That is exactly what we're doing here. It's basically pagan Christianity. But what is giving us chaste? Where is this coming from? Where is chaste? Why do we have chaste? Like, this is accepted. Clerical marriage is allowed. I don't know where chaste is coming from, honestly. Marriage doctrines, polygamous. Huh. Any idea? What symbol should we use? Yeah, I wanted to go with a dove. That was my idea. Like, really, really, really confuse our enemies. Like, look at this symbol of peace in which we come to come eat you now. I think that is kind of fun. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> but otherwise, I mean, we can leave that up to uh, to a vote as well. We could go with the uh, with this thing. The ironic dove. It's it's the most ironic dove. We could also go with this, or with the two ravens from the from the Staru. Double crow? Okay, we go with double crow. It's also a bird. So, I think harboring, harbinger is more of a crow thing. The cool S from high school, <laughs> yes. Alright, so we're gonna be double crow harbingers of God. Cannibal is a virtue, which is a virtue. 
forgiving, compassionate, and chaste is a virtue. I don't understand how we get chaste, though. I don't get it. Is it from one of these? Nope. Is that because we're still Christian? It's really, really weird. Ah, well, doesn't matter. Let's go. Create faith. Create? Very good. We are the head of faith. And the Harbys Church Council. <laughs> we are an organized Christian faith. We sure are. What are our holy sites? So it's mostly up here. The Vaticano for sure. Jerusalem. And Canterbury. Alright, let's... Um, <clears throat> we're above domain limit quite a lot because we just took all this. So let's take care of that. Um... So, succession. Let's see. We're gonna lose all this stuff anyway. You're gonna get the Bishopric of Dunmo. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. We have Brentford now. The Bishopric here. <laughs> okay, let's give this kid all this down here. All this and that. He's gonna get it anyway, might as well have it right away. And now it's time to demand some conversions around here. Oh, Ketbira says I need to stretch. All right, okay. Oh, oh, I don't wanna destroy stuff. All right, stretching, stretching is happening. Man, I'm gonna have the healthiest lifestyle ever the more I stream. By you guys constantly looking out for me. Ah, actually pretty good. All right. Wait, do I need more stretching? No, that's fine. I, I stretched. You saw it. Even reminded me to drink something. Again. <laughs> Whew. All right, we need to convert a bunch of people at home. Fix the royal posture? Oh, man. Okay, let me see. So the thing is, my camera setup is a little bit for leaning back. Watch more im streams equals get healthy. Y you guys can do it with me, you know. Uh, fix the royal posture. So if I sit up proper, you know, like real straight and stuff, my head is cut off. <laughs> And I don't quite know if my green screen <laughs> goes up high enough. Uh, let, let me check. Okay. Wait. Ah! Oh god. Can I can I do this reasonably? Oh no, the screen the green screen just ends right there. Oh no. <coughs> Too high. Huh? Look at that. But now if I lean back again... I kind of vanish down here. It's, um... Suboptimal. Okay. Posture fixed. I am very upright right now. Very upright. Um... Being raided. Where are we being raided anyway? There. Could fix that. Green street reveal. Yes. Yes, yes. This is not actually a room behind me. Well, there is a room behind the green screen, but I'm not going to show that. Green screen can help you guys and me believe that my room is in order and looks actually decent and isn't a complete mess. <laughs> By the way, I think we have a we have a we have a goal as well, don't we? For these for these uh, stream points. Let me check. We have a thing, we have a goal, something to work towards. As a unit, as a group. 
Let me find it. Oh god, that was really hidden, wasn't it? Uh, boy, oh boy. Viewer rewards. Channel points. Rewards and challenges. Yes. If you guys get 10,000 channel points together, we're gonna... Oh, I have to start it. There we go. If you guys get 10,000 channel points together, we're gonna add Civilization 6 to the streaming roster. There you go. There's your goal. Not sure for how long, but we're gonna add it. Okay, so we switched our religion. Uh, now let's make sure everyone everyone knows they have to follow along here. So, um, let's see. Some of these will have already switched with us, their religion. So let's find the ones that might not have. We're looking at this here. We're looking at Harbies and uh, whether or not they have the symbol. It's basically what we want. You can be Welsh all you want as long as you're a Harby. <laughs> all right. All right. I think everyone switched with us. Looks good. Everyone is a Harby. So we are a witch. Are we not? So should we not have that as a virtuous thing now? Is there a decision for it? Like, come out? Come out as a witch? Let's go seclude ourselves. Oh no, that's cost- no, darn. Okay. That costs a lot of prestige. Prestige I need for different things. Darn. Wait, am I no longer a witch? The insular clergy have lost their way and can no longer be trusted to guide us. To remedy this, I have gathered a select group of priors together to discuss the future of our faith. Impassioned priors are already talking about launching crusades to spread their new faith across the world and claim that the only way to show proper devotion is by honoring God with human sacrifices. I have chosen to personally lead this burge burgeoning Harbies movement and have assumed the title of Arch Abbot. An exalted position that I will pass down to my descendants. Remember four streams ago, we were like, damn, when is this poor dude going to die? And now he's a freaking god on heart. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I... Like... What? Captain Bira is contributing 2,000 crowns to adding Civilization VI to the game roster. Nice. Let's go. Um... Yeah, it's true. Like, he should be dead. He should have been dead a long time ago. But aren't... Am I not a witch anymore? Why does... Oh. W why are you our heir? <gasps> oh, because we changed equality. Let's convert it to witchcraft real quick. Needn't be a secret anymore. And why are we still swaying the Pope? The Pope don't don't give us no money no more. I don't need to sway that fool. Okay, uh, we're still above the main limit. Because we hold these... Uh... Okay, let's give this to someone else. I don't really care. Is anyone going to inherit this? Not really. What are you going to inherit? That thing. Yes, the Pope is little more than a, than a lowborn fool. Absolutely for sure. So who do we give this to? Someone. Our grandson. Now we give it to our son. He can have that bishopric. And we're gonna keep this, so... We're above the main limit, should go away in a second. Once the month ends, the game updates, kinda. 
Okay, these raiders have nothing yet. And these raiders... 63 gold. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's dangerous right there. He could get to the coast without walking through us. But I want to kill them. They got money. Okay, that's enough troops. Okay, let's check. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. We can appoint this lad now. We can put someone in who's actually good at this. We can put in him. Our brother. Oh, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> yes. 40 learning court chaplain. Doesn't get any better than that. That's fantastic. I think we can speed this up a little bit. That is a good chappy for sure. Okay, we've beaten them. Took their gold. Got a little bit of prestige out of it. Uh, these guys are being beaten by someone else. So we just kind of need, need to move away from them so we can stand down our troops again. Earl Gregory II is no longer our ward. He becomes a fortune builder and he's no longer our heir. But he's a powerful vassal. Uh... He actually has a lot of titles. I think I gave these to him in anticipation of his taking over as our heir. Which no longer happens because, well, the lady may now inherit. We need 82 prestige to fix this. Are you raiding us again? No. Okay, you guys are just running away. You were beaten. You're done. And we're going to give him a good Harby's name. Steven. Stefan. Uh, we could go to a grand wedding. No. I, I'm not risking travel right now. Travel is always a little bit dangerous. So the raiders are leaving the island. Very good. Upgrade the temple. Wait. Can we build a monolith here now? A megalith. Yes, we can build one. So development growth plus 2% is big. Party plus 0.2. I think we should totally build one. Uh, let's see. We're going to replace the prayer holes with megalith. Also sounds really cool. Megalith. Very cash money of us to have megalith. <laughs> that upgrade is a little bit too costly. So the main issue I have, we can't ask anyone for money anymore. I, we, we have too few spouses. Can you believe it? Let's get the Duchess of Northumbria in here. That is, that cannot stand. Not our niece, no, no. Uh, the Duchy of Kent. Earldom of Lancashire. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This is just kind of... Let's go with some internal stuff here. Just so we fill up the spouses. Okay, why do we only have this one all of a sudden as, a, as an option? County of Albash. Sure. I still have too few spouses. Where where did all those options go though? Okay, very good. All of our secondary spouses are present and accounted for. We can usurp the Yaldom of Brittany. Do we want to? How much does it cost us? Too much. We're not gonna do that. Um Oh, we can station another regiment. Can we station them in a church? 
Is that possible? Ooh, we can station them in a church. Okay, which one is better? Definitely the pikemen. They gain more out of it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You think the reason you went with it as an extra building slots for extra effect, even without exposure, early on Argus are great. Um, was it the extra building slots? It gives us extra building slots? I don't really see that. I mean, we can we can build in the duchy capital. Great to make a lift now. Which... It's not bad. Development growth plus 15%. Definitely good. Plus 1.1 gold. Definitely good. I mean, we absolutely should. It's just... We're not earning enough money. We need more. Once we have more money, we're going to build one there. But building it early is true. It, it takes a long, long time for you to unlock something where you are allowed to build there. Oh, the Duke is helping us. Look at that. He's coming and bringing us some gold there. Our Court Grandia level is just spiking here. <gasps> Fascination discovered. Hereditary rule. Let's go. Problem is we can't do anything with it yet because we don't have the right law. But we could change to partition soon, uh, which would be nice. Um, How much do we need? 202? Where's all my prestige? Okay, wait. If we usurp this, costs us 250. We get the prestige, we can switch. We can change the hereditary rule stuff. It's a lot of money. Okay, we're gonna take that risk. We're gonna usurp that. Uh, grant it to him. That's your Brittany. There you go. And we're gonna go ahead, increase our crown authority, which everyone's gonna hate a little bit, but that's fine. Now we're gonna go for our succession, and we'll have to unpause for a second. War declared. Northman army conquest of the uh, Duchy of Galloway, okay. You know what time it is? It's Frankia time. And it's Lombardy time. And it's West Franconia time. And it's Bohemia time. And it's Duchy of Galloway time. I'm not even gonna raise my troops to defend ourselves. This will all be our allies. Completely. I don't even know where they wanna go. Where do they wanna go? Outsourcing at its finest, indeed. So they want to take this from us? Huh. Good luck, you fools. Why can't I switch this? I don't have enough prestige to switch this. Iceland kept punching while I was trying to make Irish Britannia, so now I tend to go punch them when I give them the charge. Yeah, that's how you build generational grudges, you know? Now nah, we'll fight them the old-fashioned way. We have beaten them before, we'll beat them again. So we are missing prestige to switch our... our succession level. And the Brithono North Catholic populists are targeting us. They want to raise. Raise their rebels against us. Okay. Let's uh, pull up our army right there. Though I'd rather earn money... And there they come. I think that's them. Where are our allies? Ah, there they come. So let's see. What do we get? Do we get something? We gain 350 prestige. Oh, ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, 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 no, no, no. Bad for them, good for us. What's going on? Countess Imag, our wife, might have another. Do you have another? Tell us true. Well, you say so. Then if you say so, then we accept your no-no. Now finally I can show her my true self. Learns of our witch secret. My intentions are pure, I ensure you. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just learning here. I'm, I'm having visions of the divine. So the enemy comes and they want to jump on this from here, but... Well, they're going to have the disembarkment thing. And France is just going to steamroll these. Like, France is just going to completely obliterate them. There's no chance in hell they're winning against France. Ah. King Constantine has gained the spotless reputation for absolute rejection of carnal pleasure. His unwavering discipline has served as an example to... Uh, to follow for many young harbingers to trying and resist debasing lure of lechery. How very commendable. What is our fervor right now? Uh, that's the wrong screen. Uh, we need to switch our fascination. Okay, our fervor is 100%. How do I call for a great war? Not that it matters. There's, there's not a lot of our type of people there yet. But let's check what is our current fascination. Amulary sphere. We don't need that at all. Okay, so the next thing we might want to go for is mangonels. 19 years with our learning is pretty good. Uh, we could go for burrs of battlements as well, which is sensible, but we don't have enough money to build anything anyway, so might as well, you know, get that going. And there's the victory. Thank you, France. And that means we got enough prestige now to... Change our succession law. Almost enough prestige now to change our succession law. Almost there. And everyone approves, which is lovely. So this is an important change because... Okay, let's see. I, I want to ask Captain Bira directly. Maybe, maybe, maybe you learned. Why is partition better than confederate partition? Let's hear what chat says. And if chat gets it right, that's... A big thumbs up from my end there. Um, otherwise, I'm going to explain it. But let's see if chat knows why partition is better than confederate partition. We're taking it. We're so taking this. Ah. Changed. This guy was dead in the water. Dead in the water. And now look at him. No one would have guessed. I didn't. I didn't believe it. Uh, let's go in the stewardship tree next. Or should we? Now we're going to stay here. Because Confederates left this, lost the Civil War. <laughs> Very good. I like that. Very good. Okay, let's go to a wedding. Why not? We have done everything. Might as well go travel at the last uh, few hours of our life. And it's so close. Look, it's just barely across the Thames. Uh, let's go join there. What's our goal? Recreation? Yeah. The music is so good. Uh, no. So, the reason why is partition much better than confederate partition is... Uh, is the following. Let's read this real quick. Because they sound almost identical. That's the thing. These almost sound identical. There's only one little thing here. One little thing that absolutely changes. And it's the second sentence here. And that is the most important thing you need to know between the partition types on confederate and partition. Confederate petition has this sentence here, which is a terrible sentence for you to have. 
new titles may be created for younger realm heirs. It's very unclear what this means, but I'm going to tell you what it means. So right now we're an emperor. So the petition is going to try and give everyone an empire title, but we only have one. However, if we had two, it would be passed between. So one one would get the emperor uh, of one empire and the other would get the other. That's the same still on the on the petition as well. But confederate petition, different from partition, will create that title. So if we uh, look at the empire titles that don't exist, like Scandinavia. If we had enough of Scandinavia, if we had 90 de jure counties right now, and we were still in confederate petition and we died, and this title was still not created, it would be created for one of our heirs, out of thin air. And that is the thing that I think you need to really, really understand between these two types of confederate petition and petition. Confederate petition will absolutely, if you own enough, so you could create a title that is equal to your maximum current title. So if you're a duke and you own enough of another duchy that isn't yet created, it will be created for one of your heirs. You're gonna split and then there's gonna be two duchies. If we conquered the entire Iberia, but the struggle wasn't over, would it make a Spain? <laughs> oh, good God. All right, so that's the important thing. Confederate petition versus petition. You can work with both. You can absolutely work with both. But if you have Confederate petition, ensure that you're not taking so much of another empire that it could potentially be created. Should we also take care of that uh, Iceland grudge of our friend? Maybe. Okay, how do I do a great holy war? How do I do this? Is there like a decision for him? Dismantle the papacy. Oh. 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 Well, I don't think we're going to control all of Italia anytime soon, but I didn't know that was a possibility. That's pretty cool. Reclaim Britannia. All of your powerful vassal have a culture of Brythonic or Girdelic heritage. Nah. I mean, punching the Pope's fun, but punching Iceland sounds fun. Yeah. We're not going to get to dismantle the papacy. It's a little bit too out of our wheelhouse. I'm, I can't take on Frankia at all. Like, Frankia is beyond us. For sure. So I think Iceland is going to be next. We should control all these islands here. Maybe get Tunis too? What do you think? Um... An inspired person can be sponsored. What do you want to make? Something wondrous and you're... Nah. I don't have money to spend on something wondrous. Excuse me. Are you kidding? We must stop the villain behind this. I don't care. <laughs> kill French king? No. I'm not gonna kill the French king. Um, yeah, Frankia still has... We'll check in a second. Frankia still has Confederate Petition. So, it will split into Italia. You're on an island conquest, got Irish, Britannia, Ireland, Iceland, and trying to make Irish Mediterranean. Sounds good to me. So, he's Confederate Petition, and... The Empire of Italia does not exist, but I believe he holds enough. Like, you can see all this crossed out here. I think he holds enough of Italia for it to be created for his heir. So, yes, if he dies, um, there's going to be two empires. Is it even possible? Nah. We have no chance. We just have to wait. Sometimes you just have to wait. 
And it's fine. We don't have to push for everything. Germany 3... 3i. Oh yeah, he's holding a bunch of Germania as well. But I don't think enough for it to matter. Enjoy your marriage, people. We increase our increase. Oh. Let's go with this. Potentially we get a lifestyle perk, otherwise he just kind of likes us. But I don't know if they are the real main character and lives to 180. <laughs> well, then we just have to wait longer. That's fine. And I don't think he's an anime type real character that just lives forever. I, ho I sure hope not. It's very good of you to abstain from drink. Yes. Don't drink. Don't drink, kid. Look at me. I'm a drunkard. What has come of me? I'm only emperor of all of Alba. Head of my own faith. I don't know anything. <gasps> Awkwardly sicked back down without saying anything. 185 stress reduction. Whoop, whoop. Oh. We're gonna go integrate Brittany into our titles. Shift that de jour. We'll talk about this in a second once the loud fanfares from the royal wedding are over. Uh, let the traitor be known to all. Alright, we expose it. I think someone pushed the lifespan to 150. I think there's a way to still be immortal in this. Not entirely sure though. So, okay, what are we doing here? We're putting this guy on integrating the title. So, meaning, oh, can you stop with the wedding fanfares, please? <laughs> Just stop it. I'm gonna pause. So, what does that mean? At the moment, Frankia could very well declare a du jour war against us for Fr uh, Brittany because it is du jour part of the Empire of Frankia. But if we integrate that title, it becomes a du jour part of the Empire of Alba. So we have a right to it. And they do no longer have that right to it. So that's good. You want that. Also, uh, Brittany will think of us better as a liege because we are actually their proper liege. So that's pretty good. Oh, Our lo lovely son wants a little alliance with us. Sure, let's go. I want to dismiss this. Yes, congratulations again. Goodbye. Got even a little bit of prestige out of it. This man. This is one of those rulers. He has just gotten and done everything. What happens when the lesbian empress has a legal claim on their neighbor's title? Well. Depends on the succession. Hey, Yuri. And here I was going to actually give an answer to your question. But I see now it was a trap. And I ran right into that trap. Mm. Got me. I shall hydrate, indeed. Very good, very good point. Thank you. Very good. Done and done. <clears throat> I have a few more emotes that I can make. Maybe this can be this can be one. We imprison him. Wait. There's still something I can imprison someone for? What are you? Uh, this is what... <sighs> he is the very image of Christ the suffering. Let us show mercy to this creature. And, oh, it was me mother, you see. She tells me I'm too slow and useless and I make a better scarecrow than a farmhand. So she tied me up and I thought it'd be alright, but it was torture. So he's dull, brutally mauled and one-eyed. I need no reward. I do not, indeed. 
Um, I need no reward. Thank you. Absolutely, I take you down from across if I see you on one. Thank God I can go inside again. I haven't even seen his face in, in decades. Let's hold court. Please, come forward. Come, come. Come now. Ah, yes. The weapons ban in cities. Or open carry. Nada. Everyone keeps their weapons. We like it like that. Let's see. Peasant man stands before us informing the recent war took a toll on the countryside. Blah, blah, blah. Use remaining materials. Should we help here? <laughs> I think that's the first clip anyone ever did. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll check it out later. <laughs> you shall receive the necessary funds for restoration. <sighs> yeah, okay, fine. So reason I'm going with that is I want cultural acceptance because I'm not going to convert culture in the country. So having them be a little bit more accepting of each other is actually pretty, pretty decent, honestly. Okay, what's going on here? Is there no proof? I always go for is there no proof. I don't like going with things just because someone says something. My business here is done. Goodbye. Where are we on court grandeur anyway? I mean, we're a little bit above our needs and our means. A little bit. What's our minimum? Our minimum is here. Slightly above five, so it's all good. Baron support integration. Oh, nice. The barons here are all for it. So, county of Vans, the control level has changed, going up. That's a potential side effect from integrating the uh, thing here. Could also get resistance for sure. Go steal the Ark of the Covenant. Wait a moment, is that a thing? Oh, uh, Frankie just evaporated. No, it didn't. Is that a thing? Does he have that? Can I see his uh, stuff somewhere? I don't think I can. Which is funny to me is that the Pope is usually lowborn, which is quite inaccurate. Uh, the popes were often from noble families. I I should say most of the time from noble families. Ah, oh, look at that. There's some cracks appearing in the large emperor Frankia. What do you want? Challenge me to a board game? Oh, yes. And we are going to go with... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I can't go with a learning challenge. Oh boy, we're kind of... Let's go for subtlety then. So we're looking at what is our best trait. And then we're just going to go with our best trait there. Which is between all these. We don't have high prowess. We don't have high martial. We'll just innocently whistle around here. Uh, how does it feel to lose, little man? No. No. I'd love to play again. I'll go with that. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Eh. He won't. You call me to a war against this and that. That shift Tuscany. What is this? You're attacking. Okay. You're attacking Sardinia. Oh. No. Nothing changed here. So. How do we get there quickest? From down here? I think I would like to participate, mainly just to take Sardinia out. Like, there's money here. Look at this. That's a lot of money for us. Just waiting there to be taken. Let's move to the coast. And raise all here. 
I will just go death that. I'll steal the Pope's chair and the Byzantine crown. <laughs> Fabricate a claim on our artifact pit into the lifestyle perk. Okay. <laughs> I mean, stealing the Pope's chair just sounds like a like a good prank. Prince Simon Simon has been murdered, and he was killed by Gilbert. Why? Would you like to come to court? No? I would pay for your travel expenses. Come to my court. I must meet the man who bested my son. Look at the agents joining the scheme. <laughs> Doesn't even stop. Okay, I think we got enough trips here. Said the spider to the fly. I like the way you phrase these things. You got away with words. Okay, let's go land on Sardinia. Let's go take care of that. We could, of course, help with Tuscany as well, but... Uh. Eight gold, 21 gold, nothing. I must know the truth. Go away. I'm not paying 300 gold for anything, much less a secret. Minor megalith was constructed in Brentford. Nice. Which means we're not earning any money here anymore, but... You know. It's not always all about the money. Oh boy, can we even afford what I'm doing here right now? What money buildings can you upgrade or build? All of them. Except I have no money. A good insular name? A good insular name? How dare you? I demand your conversion this instance. Uh, let's put in a siege man. For siege related activities. So it goes a little bit quicker. Purchase a truce. <laughs> Absolutely you can have a truce. I wasn't even looking your way. But if you want to give me 175 gold so I stop and I continue lo not looking your way. Hello. I take that with happiness. Wait. 8 gold. 26. 23. 32. Okay, fine. I'm gonna do it properly. The loathsome fiend. Scheme was discovered. I don't care. Trying to kill that lad. A new steward. Our stewards keep requiring changes a lot. But we can put in our grandson. The guy we groomed to rule initially, but that's good enough. Do we not have a better? I mean, we definitely do, but ah, he's fine. He'll do fine. A white piece? Darn. Fine. We tried. We helped. Okay, let's put this guy back to improving our commanders. And let's go earn some ransom money. Okay, definitely worth it on that end. 50 gold out of ransoms. That's pretty good. I, I I always forget to check what money we start with on war, so I can actually, you know, understand if it's if it's a war we earn on or not. Let's see. Gilbert will be honored by such a gift. Uh, would be nice in our rooms. Monthly prestige plus twenty percent. I don't care. Let's give him those carpets, so our murders. Spree is better. So we we keep earning points here, but we can't put him anywhere anymore. It's fine, though. Uh, I think we're going to switch over to medicine focus. I want that small health boost. Let's see how long we can make this guy live. <laughs> uh, so we're going to dismiss this. That's all fine.
So the engine recognizes the code for a mortal and you can edit a save and add it to a character and it will work, but you can still die from events, battles and the like. However, the trait immortal is not actually implemented yet. All right. I, 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 I seem to believe there is a event chain where you go for uh, stuff like that. Where it's like, find the fountain of youth or something. If at first you don't succeed, yeah. Okay, we, we didn't kill him. None of there is an event chain like that in Crusader Kings 3 as well. It might not end in immortality though. Okay, let's check on the money buildings. We could uh, upgrade here our little uh, ship, but that is honestly the worst investment in terms of money. We could build the megalith. Honestly. That's 1.1 gold. That's a lot of money right there. Uh, apart from that, honestly, we don't have any good points. Glaukes that we're going to lose on succession. I think. Oh, actually, no. We're not losing Glaukes on succession. We're just losing the duchy. Well, that's okay. Show in Duchess Marvena at once. Thank you. It's a difficult language, don't you worry about it. So we could actually build something here and get some money. Because we're not losing it anymore. Might as well invest and have a return on investment. So we could get a trade port, but it, it scales quickly on, on cost and it doesn't actually bring so much. We could go for pastures instead. They remain pretty cheap to upgrade for a long, long while. But it takes you two upgrade levels to get to the same uh, income from the trade port. So it might actually not be so good. Like trade port pays quicker. But it also costs more. Oh wait, was I looking wrong? No. Actually, it doesn't seem to be like that. No, upgrade costs are pretty similar, honestly. You have to add immortal equals 20, otherwise the portrait has issues. You can set the age number to whatever and it works. Okay. Nah, I don't care to be immortal. I want to see how long this guy lives. He's really, really old. He's crazy old. He's 74. And he has been infirm for, I don't know, 15 years now? Something like that? Duchess Flavia is no longer a court physician. Oh no. She has she has done so well for us. Curses, our scheme was exposed. Darn. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna imprison him. <laughs> Let's get us a court physician here. Um and we'll just like, oh yes, look at that. We're gonna eat the guy who murdered our son. Behead and devour. And we become a cannibal. Okay, now let me, let me, tr okay. I'm gonna go into dungeon master mode right now. And I'm gonna try and paint you a picture. Of what's going to happen now, okay? This might be too gruesome to some audiences, so we might want to mute this for about half a minute. As the Arch Abbot Emperor Gregory the Brilliant descends into the dungeons to seek out the cell that holds the man Gilbert. I don't care, go away! To punish him. For the unforgivable crime of killing his beloved son in cold blood. He hears the wretch shuffling about and back. He knows what's coming. And he knows he has nothing that will save his wretched hide. The large key slides into the ancient lock. And opens the cell. Gregory steps into it. 
He's wearing the rags of a man who has taken a vow of poverty. His iron mask hiding his disfigured face. Slowly, he hobbles forward, his aching body ravaged by time and the many stresses of running his empire. He kneels close by the prisoner and slides up his mask, revealing a obliterated face. He leans in and with a raspy voice he whispers I have come to take you to God but your deeds won't allow me you will have to burn in hell. But worry not, my dear man. Your crimes against my family will serve a higher purpose yet. And he takes out a knife, slitting the throat of the man. And he leans in and drinks deep from the blood of the murderer of his son. There we go. That's how you kill him. Nice. We're a little bit stressed, though. Understandable. Let's get ourselves a new court physician. I'm just going to go with this guy. Doesn't really matter much. And we are a cannibal now, which is good around these parts. That's so crazy as a virtue. That's such a crazy strong virtue. Am I no longer overwhelmed by stress? Revenge is a dish best served with a fine vine and favor beans. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't like you to see me like that. We could get caring friend with a medium health boost for two years. Um, sure. No, come. Come stay with me. Thank you. And we could go seclude ourselves. I don't need prestige anymore. I've accomplished everything I want to accomplish. So let's just seclude ourselves. Get rid of some of that stress. But how do we... Oh, we could found a holy order. But 500 gold though. Ugh. That's too much for our blood. Well, that would be cool. Okay, so how do I do a holy war? Like a big holy war? How do I do that? Anyone know? I've never done that. We should probably convert these places which hold holy sites. Like, let's do that. You go and... Is it here? Yeah. So... How do we do a holy war? Is that an activity? No. Regular declaration of war screen. But you're on Xbox. Okay. If it's a regular declaration. Yeah, might be. Might be. Might be. We were looking at Iceland. Weren't we? Oh. There it is. You're right. You're quite right. You're quite right. Thank you. So. Catholics might join the war. Fellow Harbingers might join the war. And... A Staru might join him? No? Yeah. Joining due to being in the target area. So here it immediately tells you that these guys are, join, uh, are gonna join in. So it doesn't count it up there though. So keep that in mind. So we are facing 5,500, 9,000 troops. So we would have to call in Frankia to help us. Which I don't know exactly if we can do that on a crusade honestly. The main contributor... Oh, we're going for all of Norway? Wait, Iceland belongs to Norway? They won't? 
How do you figure they won't? It says right there they are. Joining due to being in the target area. If they don't show up here... Oh, you mean the French? Yeah, yeah, but they're joining on the side of our enemy. They're joining on the side of Norway. That's what they're doing. Yeah, but can we call them regular? You know? Like, that's my question. Can we call him regular? Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's find some smaller... Smaller places around here. So, Iceland is free. We could just go Holy War for a duchy. No. I'm so confused. How is this the Kingdom of Engl uh, of Norway? You are not vassal of anyone, but you don't hold the kingdom title, but you're part of that kingdom? So, huh? Oh, are you an elector, maybe? Are you an elector in there, even though you're not part of it? Oh, I wasn't even aware that's possible. But I think this guy is an elector in there. No, no, he's not an elector in there. Wait, is it him? No. What? Yeah, I know that Iceland is the jure part of Norway, but it doesn't matter because right now they are not. So attacking them directly shouldn't bring in Norway at all. And are you an empire? No, you're a kingdom. Oh, but this is a... I'm so confused right now. How is this part of that? See? The Aldom of Eastland. He's not part of that at the moment. Well, we can't win a crusade uh, for, the, for the Kingdom of Norway, though. Let's look around. Let's shop around a little. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really a possibility. Could we go for Denmark, maybe? Wait, huh? Ah, oh, alright, okay, of course, because Denmark is already in it, so obviously they wouldn't count as a pop in here. So 3,000, 4,000, 7,000. <sighs> Can't really do that. But there's someone having claims here, no? What claims do you have? Ah, nothing. Yeah, I can't crusade a duchy, I get it, but I can't even... Okay. I can't even go for the duchy of Eastland either. See, no one no one is going to join on his side over here if we go for Eastland. The Northern Isles. But I do really want to do a crusade. Ah, this looks better. The kingdom of... Oh, that's a lot of kingdoms out there. Estonia, no one cares about, apparently. White Rus, people care about. Novogrod, they care about. Lithuania, looks doable. Prussia. Oh, no. 
Nah. Other Astarians might join the war on Estonia's side. We need more harboring in the world. Okay. Yeah. Now I want to test this on something where we don't completely dis get destroyed. Kinda. That's my whole thing here. That's what I'm shopping around for. I want to go somewhere where there's a little religion, you know, something that is still a bit lost. I mean, Astaru isn't big anymore. It really isn't, but it's enough. It's just enough. <laughs> Kingdom of Jerusalem just exists here. Okay, very cute. Egypt we can't do anything about. What can we do here? Oh, boy. Why are these all so cohesive? Why are they all so friendly with one another? That doesn't make any sense. Stop being so united, you fools. Click at that. That's just too much. We, we're we weak sauce. We can't do any of this yet. Zero point two growth for three hundred and forty. That's just too much for too little. Oh yeah, I wanted to build something here or upgrade this. Oh no no no, we wanted to build the monolith, didn't we? Let's do that. Let's build the monolith. Boop 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 boop. We can't afford it now, the megalith. Plus 1.1 gold, that's that's a big jump for us. So now we can't do any war at all, because we have no money anymore. We are fully relying on all our alliances at this very point in time. Pope is too far away to interact. Honestly, we need something around here. One six one one sixty two one eight. That's something we could do. Unless more join. That's a possibility. It says we have twenty six thousand. We don't, unless Frankia comes with us. So I think we can call in an ally on the on a crusade. But I don't know. Okay, sure. My ward is telling me secrets about our courtiers. He has a secret faith. Secret faith is not okay. I must politely decline. No, I don't want your dude on my court. Go away. Thank you. I need prestige. <laughs> If I call France into a big war here. Like that would be doable, but... Of course I'd rather take something here. Wait. Ah, the Byzantines are too far away. They would be a good target. Like they have 7,000. There's not anyone going to come to them. If you can crusade against um, them. I don't know if you can. Ooh. Nah, just become my friend, my dear boy. Uh, yes. No. Wait, on which side are you joining? Joining due to being in the target area. But on which side? On which side? It doesn't say. Are you joining on my side or on their side? I 
The problem is we can't let our ally win that one if we do a holy war. We have to win it ourselves. Like, we have to have the highest contribution. Otherwise, they're just going to get it. I think. Oh, we become the owner of the wild stag hide. Okay. A famed large wall ornament. Ooh, I like the renown on that one. Powerful vassal counselor tax contribution. Not bad. Thank you for that artifact. Uh, let's go check it out. I think. Yeah. Let's see. Natural dread. I think one of these war banners can go. So we're going to kick this one out and put the stag hide there. It's definitely much better. And we can destroy the other thing. The war banner here. That is not displayed. 80 gold right in our pocket. Have we more things? Oh yeah, the memories here of Bishop Eithne. Which we don't need. So... More money in the war chest. Can't display this or destroy it, sadly. It's okay. And now we have enough gold to start this war. Okay, let's try this. You know, let's try that. Always assume against you. Like, I'm not assuming against me for one reason. Because if we look at this... Oh, no, it doesn't say on which side. It doesn't say on which side. I thought it would say on this side for which side they're joining. Like, why are they not red at least? I mean, he is a, he's an orthodox. He isn't, but is both Christian, but we are also Christian. <laughs> ha, so difficult. So the kingdom of Valencia. These are all joining. But this guy is Catholic. This guy isn't. This guy isn't. This Astaru, okay. What side are you joining then? This guy isn't. This guy isn't. This guy isn't. So, this guy might join on our on our side. I don't know. It's a little bit confusing. I wish it were clearer. I don't know. Should we go for this? Should we try and see what happens? If we can bring in France, it's it's kind of clear. But they have more money and they have more troops. We're not doing it. Call me scared, but I am scared. <laughs> Might just go do our holy war up here for Iceland. But we can't even holy war for Iceland. We can only go for the Northern Isles. Then we might as well do a little like that, you know. But that again costs money, sending troops there and everything. I don't know. I wonder how long Jerusalem is going to survive. Oh, Serbia has a little bit here. Just think, oh, Crete. Too far away. Can't do anything with it. Nah. Why is everyone so crazy strong? Ah, because they're still tribes. Ah, okay, okay. The second they become feudal, they become weak. That's basically it. Tribes are crazy strong in terms of manpower. And don't underestimate it either. It's not just uh, levies. They do have a lot of really proper men-at-arms as well. But that's where they get their crazy strength from. I should never forget. Sure, let's be stressed. 
I need to be alone to think about this. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go seclude ourselves. We don't want to be wounded. Okay, so... We're 75 now. And remember, we have the trait. We increase our marshal. Nah, we're gonna increase his marshal, I don't care. Uh, remember we have the trait where it tells us once we are able, or once we're going to die. Like, we have that. Which granddaughter are you? Do we have more children? Yes, you do. Okay, we're just gonna marry you to our spy master and vassal here in a matrilineal marriage. Let's go. Like, we know he's not even close to death right now. He's... Again, he's infirm. He's all things bad. This guy... is a marvel. A true marvel. How's our... thing coming along? Oh boy, that's gonna take a while. Okay, it only has one level, that's why it's so strong. Monthly learning style experience, plus 10%. Monthly renown, plus 5%. All holdings in this duchy, plus 15% development growth. Like, that's... I appreciate that. There's still some peasants constantly flopping around there. Let's go to the barbershop. Honestly, we don't have vows of poverty anymore, do we? Train for tournament. Yeah. Sure. We are infirm and we train and it's impressive, apparently. Let's hold some mystical communion. And I do not see... I do not see renounce vows of poverty. So we should be able to wear something proper again? Am I allowed? Clothes? Oh. We can wear actual clothing again. Uh, what shall we go with? African, Holy Roman Emperor. Bishop robe. Bishop robe 1. I mean, we are the head of faith. Let's go with papal robe. <laughs> uh, our cloak... ...will be... I don't know. Noble Carolingian cloak? No, the royal cloak. Sure. Face items. Spectacles. Now, default. Default. What is this thing around our oh what what is that thing around our soul our shoulders here? Well oh, that's from our mask, is it? I think it might just be We look so silly. Headwear. Let's see. Imperial crown of Hildesheim. Nah. Uh, starting to look like Dr. Doom. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Let's see. Norse crown. Norse imperial crown. Fleur de Lis. I think we'll go with the imperial crown. There we go. Now that's a bit better. Don't look like a peasant anymore. And we're still pushing lifestyles. How many children have you outlived? One, two, three, four children you have outlived.
The sad thing is if when we take over, she's going to be 52. But she's Amazonian, so she's going to live a long while as well. What is our health status right now? It's poor. Okay. It's going down now. It's going down. He can be lustful. I don't care. We enter a... Alliance with our... Irish Queen? Sure. She's our niece. Okay. I don't mind. So what happened with Scotland? Ah. No one makes me smile like my dear Imag. Okay, Scotland is just kind of... The capital keeps wandering south, basically. Scotland has been very strong in this uh, in this playthrough, I must say. A great granddaughter, a good Harby's name, Sarah. You're still alive, eh? Well, you're probably saying the same about me. You have a duck quack on you. A healing water legend, and he's fine. Our health is poor, his is, his is fine. Yes, show in the Duchess, please. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I miss asking our head of faith for money, but then again, we're earning like five gold more than we did with him. So. Guess that's fine. I should drink something. Even though no one asked me, I will. Oh, 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 what the heck? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, our brother Constantine died. And uh, with his death, I'm getting all these claims on these old artifacts that were stolen from me in successions long past. Like this fragment of the... True cross. First of all, let's demand some conversion here, my friend. Let's get this straight. Blessed be God. Second of all... Request dynasty banner or demand artifact. Let's get me this artifact back, please. It's gonna bring down his opinion of us, but he's gonna accept. Let's get that back. And we have become the owner of it. Very good. So now we can display it again. Where it should have been the whole time. I mean, this is good. Fragment of the True Cross. Learning per level of devotion plus one. Piety plus 0 0.8 per month. That's big. Uh, the main tax is same faith. Also plus 4%. Not bad. Court grandeur could be higher, but plus 4. That's nothing to scoff at either. So let's see, what else do we have which, which I would like back? I don't need Excalibur. We have a better chair. You can keep the chair. Mm. I mean, the renowned boar skull is kind of cute. It's a small wall ornament, which we don't have many of. So... We could steal back our dynasty banner, but I don't really care about it, quite honestly. So let's go steal the renowned boar skull. Let's see what we can do. And sh yeah, we need to. What the hell? My boy. No, thank you. Uh, let's put in this guy. 73, he's not going to do it long, but he's going to do it well. Any more interesting artifact claims? No. I think that's it. Oh my god, I was... Oh god, I thought I was converting this place. We were fabricating a claim. Whoops. Excuse me. Uh... 
Oops. I... That... No. We're just gonna pretend it never happened. Uh... No, I trust them to do their job. I'm not a micromanager. Neither in real life nor in game life. I mean, the extra 5% development growth is good. That 0.2 gold is too little for me to invest that. Let's build the pastures already or something. I don't care about that kid. We're just gonna click anything. The trade port early on is good. But we also should think about our light cavalry being here. So maybe we give them the stables? I think we give them the stables. It's not all about money. So what is the jour part of our main duchy right now? This one here. Okay. So Bedford... He's not gonna like that. And it would be an act of... And maybe I should generate myself a, a claim there in Bedford. Because now with our succession as it is, I don't think we're gonna lose any more counties in successions anymore. So... That should be fine. Wait, do we have too many duchy titles? Because the... The Head of Faith is a duchy title, but I don't think it counts in there. No, it doesn't. Alright, very good. Let us journey on. Oh! Sweden just broke apart. That's good. Let's try this again. So Sweden is going to come with 796. 4,000 from Denmark. Uh, it's still way too much for us. We don't have enough money. Once we have 400 gold, we might start doing that kind of stuff. Pedagogy. Increase the diplomacy of the little boy here. Who is a literal no one. Wait a moment. Dalach. Okay, you're... Okay. You're the first of that dynasty. Interesting. That's interesting. It it looked like the, the dynasty of the people that... Like... Similar, just vertical. Bondana returns. Okay, thank you. Glad you're back, I suppose. No idea who you are. Your realm will lose land if Princess Aina dies. Excuse me. Yeah, okay, we don't have the high enough crown authority yet. So Brittany is gonna go out, gonna pass out of the realm, maybe? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, it went away, so. Either we just lost something, or it's never gonna happen. <laughs> Those are the options. Oh! Oh, look at that! Norway just became a thing. A big Norway. Always check. Like, things kind of change, but... Didn't change for the better this time. This is very interesting, the stuff that's changing here. So they just absorb Denmark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just too many people up here. Like, this guy has 5,000 troops all by himself. Uh, 
And we got another lifestyle perk unlocked. It's crazy. It keeps just going. I kind of want to do it before we die, you know? Because we have the alliances, we have everything we need. It's just really a matter of not having enough prestige. Because see, we need 750 to call in another emperor. If we are even able. We might not even be. I thought we could outlift this man. But he's just... Okay, his, his health is poor now. We're 78. I'm gonna keep going back to that. It's crazy. How are we still alive? Ah, yes. Let's make another witch out of him. By the way, we should be making witches left and right here. Ah, very good. We got our thing stolen back. Let's make some more witches. And let's hang up that renowned boar skull again, where it belongs. Back to its rightful court. Okay, something about poor manners. We spend 14 court grandeur. Duke or not, you will learn to behave properly. I'm not willing to lose court grandeur over someone burping. Alright, let's hold court. What do we have here? Your village in Essex was hit by the blight. Uh, holding taxes goes down. For five years, that's okay. 50 gold is way more than losing 20% income holding taxes in a single county. Then again, Essex is our main county. So... That's where we get most of our money from. 20% of 8.8 .8 is what? 10% is 0 0.8, so 20 is... 1.6 is what we're losing there. Probably a little bit more. For five years. And that's monthly income. So spending the money is actually better. And your service will repay your debt. We get free labor for five years. That's actually pretty good. Please, peasants, I don't care about. Math. Crazy stuff. So, what do you want? Southwark is the nicer town. Oh, man. You waste my time with this petty dispute. Go away. What's going on here? My lord, I have come to declare that the people of Nantes are refusing to pay the taxes you have levied upon us. In times past, our land and people were granted rights and privileges which your recent exactions, exactions ignore. Request that you address your, uh, our concerns fairly, or else. Or else? Okay, martial challenge. Is there no learning challenge? Fine. Okay, we're gonna execute, uh, imprison them. There might be a tax revolt happening, but... Tax reward crushed. Well done. My business is done here. Very good. Are you still unlanded? You have been my primary soldier lad for forever. Let's get you at least a wife. Our friend Duke Mathieu died, causing us a good amount of grief and stress. Glad you accept the marriage proposal. Well, again. I will be dead within a year. There it comes. We know. We won't make it to 79. And? Kinda lucky? Oh, wait. He died? The spouse of our daughter died. Okay. I thought that... Our daughter directly died. Uh. Okay, we're not gonna marry her. 
in hopes of being able to select the husband once we're dead. Call to war. Allies. Nazi Barcelona. Enemies. Frankia. I am... So sorry. I cannot help you. I will not fight the French. I must decline. Can't call me on an ally that is so much bigger. Like... My contribution is nothing on that one. We definitely need to grow to increase our power. Rachel, may you grow our great granddaughter. May you grow strong and wise. I need one of those stones. Sell everything which is impossible to read. Let's do it. We get some gold. We make some room. And what's this? You want to forge a regalia. You're competent. Nope. I don't want anything forged right now, thank you. All of our acquaintances and friends are starting to die off now. That is how it is when you're older. Yes, Earl Gregory, 110 gold you bring me. That is insane. How do you ever, as an Earl, have so much money? I mean, I'll take it. I'm not gonna ask where you got that. Oh, look at that. Norway is in a little bit of a tiff. And a little bit of a struggle there. What are you fighting over? What's happening in here? Against the tyranny of the King Hauker. Okay. Alright. Small stables have been constructed in Essex. How's our stone coming? Great megalith. It's soon done. 3rd of May. Yes. We're making more witches in our family. And our son and vassal Samuel comes of age. He's a skilled tactician. Very good. Until we meet again. We managed to educate this lad. And he's now on his own. Convert, my boy. Become a good... Something, something. Harbi. And the megalith was constructed. That boosts our income significantly. Another little great-granddaughter. Wait. Wait. One of our women just became pregnant. Okay, now. Alright, now. There we go. That's it. Ah! Arch Abbot Gregory of Harby's Council, Church Council rests in the arms of the Lord at 79 years of age. He drank himself to death. Known for spending most of his nights in his laboratory, he was believed by many to be nothing more than a warlock concocting unholy spells in the secrecy of his castle. Arch Abbot Dorothy ascends the, to the throne, never caring for the word of the scriptures. Many fear Dorothy's rule will come to an early end as God smites her. Ah, well, that's, uh, that's great. So we got a claim here on this thing because we lost it in the succession. That's fine. Okay, why are we earning so much more money now? Okay, let's check this out here. Let's check this out. So we are a witch and it's a fame trait now. It's no longer a secret. So that's great. Um... 
Let's go make more witches. Now we need a spouse. A good spouse. Someone who can give us alliance power, ideally. And definitely someone matrilineally. Okay, no one wants us. <laughs> Fine, then. Fine. We're too old to have children anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, best what we can do at this point is sum of all skills. <sighs> we can't have children anymore, so matrilineal doesn't matter either. And we already have children of our own dynasty, don't we? Huh. Let's see. What can we get in terms of alliance power without that? Eh, nothing. Might as well keep it matrilineal. See, that's the thing. Uh, women in this game, sadly, even if you have equality and stuff, they eventually become kind of unmarriable. Because everyone is like, no, I can't have children with you anymore. What secrets do I have? Where do I see the secrets I have? Tell me where are we going to go find it later. Uh, for now, we're going to go with some of all skills. That's what our husband's going to be. Why do you hate us so much? Male dominator. I think you're just from a different place. Uh, yeah, different religion. Let's get this guy in here. And then... Doesn't really matter, does it? I'm just going to go with some of all skills again. Bring us some good men in. Some of all skills. There we go. He has hail. At least that. That's what you like to check first. Where do I see my secrets? Memories? Lifestyle? No. Dress level? No. Let's choose a lifestyle. So stewardship is where we're at apparently. We're avaricious. Um, oh, that's why we're earning so much more money. Okay. Got it. So... Let's just go for the stewardship focus, honestly. I think that's going to be more than enough. See, bumped up up to 17 gold income. The new empress, I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown and nod energetically. All the things I will accomplish. That's what I think, anyway. So where do I see, see my own secrets here? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Excellent. I'm glad to have such a pious father. So. We're standing in the shadow of our father's piousness. Oh yeah, we are very not pious comparatively. Your secrets would be here, right? I don't have any secrets. Okay, a faction has been created against us. Let's check our court real quick. Best sensible chancellor. Do we have someone who's good at that? Okay, yeah, very good. So that's working out. We can put him here. Put him here. And put him here. Do we have a better man for this job? For sure. Goodbye. Why is this not controlled by us? Convert, you fool. Just good to know going in so you don't have to worry about such things. I never worry about such things, even though I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. You need to convert, lady. How about we start there and then you hate us a little bit less. But you're not gonna get a seat on the council. Don't kid yourself. I mean, look at this. What should you even be doing? Nothing. 
But let's start swaying her. <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no. I'm converting to witchcraft. That's more important. No? Where is it? Ah, oh, well. Our boy is witchcraft. Our boy is witchcraft. <laughs> Let's see what alliances can be negotiated. Inside the realm. Sure. Can we negotiate an alliance with Frankia? No. Faith differs. Uh. Okay, we have at least the one where we can try and get ourselves a outside alliance. Let's see. Now that's the best we can get. So we're just gonna go with the King of Lothringia. It's 5,000 at least, you know. Yeah, Frankia is a problem now. We are not going to be able to fight them at all. More money, more power, but there will be succession there soon. Okay, blessed be God. You have converted, smart lady. But factions are being created against us, so keep that in mind. I hate that I can't see that religion in this. I really hate that. Like, can't even filter for it. This is the most important information I can get from this list. So I have to click through every single one. Aha! Uh -huh. Found another one. Convert. Convert. I might not be as pious as my father, but I know the truth of Christianity lies with the Harbies. Okay, now then, let's go negotiate all those internal alliances at least. No reason to make ourselves vulnerable. For no good reason. I don't think we can get anything outside of our realm. Nope. Don't think so. Good. Good. More conversions. The Northman Army of the Duchy of Galloway. Okay, sure. We have to fight it ourselves now. But we have more than enough money to do so, so. That's something at least. Shouldn't go in the negatives anymore. We will fight them the old-fashioned way. Never back to your frozen hellscape of a home, scum. Yes. Okay, can we can we call anyone? Yes, we could call Lothringia in here. I mean, it's it's eight thousand troops we're fighting. They're landing on our shores, so it's gonna be fine. But since it's a defensive war, it costs us nothing to call in allies, so we might as well. I mean, it costs opinion. Oh, might go to a little feast. Uh, no great danger. So let's go. And on that feast, what do we want to do? We want to befriend some people. We need friends. Maybe we can befriend our dear cousin on this in this party here. Let's check the factions real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Our enemy arrives. Uh, we'll patronize that local saint. That's fine. 
Our enemy arrives. Come now, you can you can make amends. We're actually not very good at this, so it might go really, really wrong, but we convinced them to settle their differences. It went really, really right. Okay, we might win decisively on this one already because they have the landing modifier, the negative one. I mean, we have a 45 advantage, 52 advantage. I think we're winning this even without our ally. It's costly in lives, but we're doing it. Reason is, it's mainly levies. They bring 9,000 men, but it's almost all levies, so... I wish you could get that gold that they bring. I wish you could. Would be so good. Would make these so much worthwhile. But then again, you would be completely overpowered very quickly, I think. If you could all that money. Yeah. Alright, so far we have survived succession. Always important. Always a difficult thing. Should we... Okay, come on. He's our son. And it's only 66 gold for a, for a regalia. Let's try. If we don't believe in our son, who will? Oh, we can ransom someone as well. Nice. Uh, we can pardon our cousin, the Duke. Sure. Let's go. Where are we at here? Okay, we're far away from the next dynasty thing. We have a lot of living members. Let's go make some witches. Uh, this one we can't make into which. Oof. I hate it when the game just hides options. Like it's they're not there. They you just don't see them. I know they should be somewhere. I can't ever remember where, but let me make witches, please. I think most of these are just too young as well. Ah, well. Faction targeting us has been disbanded. Not that one, though. So let's go have that feast here. Um, okay, you want extra gold. Go ahead. We're earning good right now. We're earning really proper. Let's see. 25% chance becomes our friend. Nah, we go for this. All options here are good. Closer to a friendship. Might still happen. Queen Lucia becomes our friend. There it goes. Right there. Befriend intent completed. Nice. So that should also finish this faction. And it did. Ha 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 ha. And what would life be without Antoninus, my brother and best friend? We have reinvigorated our friendship at this feast. What a good feast it is. It just doesn't feel right. No, I do what feels right. That's what we do. What does this mean? Yes, yes. Here, here. What does that mean? Can only join a clay mount faction. What does that mean? Does that mean that we can revoke his title? Like... Okay, uh, we're leaving the feast. We're not getting any st extra stress reduction because we're shy. Wait, no, we're not. Huh? Ah, because we're reclusive. Reclusive acts a little bit like shy. All right, so the, the great drawback of our previous lad living as long as it did is that uh, we are now having this very lovely problem that we are quite old. So we're going to have a succession very soon again. But our player, Aaron's son, is a giant witch. <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, we could force him into battle. Let's go hold some coach. Let's do that. Displeased peasants. I'm not restoring nothing. Go away. Ah, yes. Tell the mothers to see who cares about their children's welfare. Ah, yes. Always take the good option. The highlighted good option. Let's see. Who is telling the truth? We go with that. We click that option. There's a fairly high chance, 140%, uh, 40%, that we spawn some prestige and some court grandeur. But I like this option best. It's... It's a roll of the dice. And we can't find out who's lying, so. Worst option happened. It might not have. Might not have happened. Alrighty, we are nearing three hours on stream. Oh, actually, we're over three hours on stream. And it's getting pretty late for me, and I'm still a little bit tired from New Year's, so... Uh, we're going to end it here for today. Leave a follow if you're not already followed. Uh, make sure you're here. We are usually would be probably streaming tomorrow again. I'm trying to shift around the schedule a little bit. Uh, so definitely next Crusader Kings 3 stream, if you're here for that, is on Saturday, next Saturday. So leave a follow so you know, you get notified. Uh, get a little notification thingy. And um, otherwise, we're going to stream again on Thursday. That's going to be the D&D stream, where we're going to do some world building, stuff like that. Maybe play some King of the Castle. Who knows? If uh, enough people are around. And I need to stop leaving the game running while I do the outro thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so very happy New Year's to everyone. Glad you guys are here and uh, hope to see you around. We might do another stream tomorrow. And it might be Civilization 6, you know? Just to get you guys a uh, look on how that might be when I play that. And that's that for today. If you're watching over on YouTube, thank you very much. Happy New Year to everyone. And maybe drop a follow over on Twitch as well. And I hope to see you around soon. Have a very healthy 2024. And thanks for being around. I really appreciate it. Bye.